And our show at the CUNY Center for Workers' Education draws attention to the victims of violence and other injustices in Mexico. Let's take a look. Tribute to the Disappeared honors the disappearance of 43 students that were kidnapped from the Yotzinapa Teachers College on September 26, 2014, but also honors the men and women who have been disappeared, 26,000 in Mexico since 2006. When the students were kidnapped two years ago, I was heartbroken and upset. I went to a demonstration in uh, Union Square and I saw people there demonstrating and we were crying and hugging and talking. But I felt really disconnected. I wanted really to reach a, a wider audience. So I went home and I started thinking about doing something with art. I went to my studio, I rushed into my studio, I got a tote bag and I got a bunch of Sharpies and brushes and paper. I went on the subway. And on the subway, I started writing the names of the students on strips of paper, just one by one. So I get to the demonstration and I ask people to help me finish, to write the 43 names, and to help me pin those strips of paper to my coat. So I walked around the demonstration with these wings. Immediately, people started coming and asking me questions and en engaging. So I realized that art has this way of touching people in a really different way and uh, I realized I had to do something else with art. I called on all of my artist friends and my curator friends, and I made a call for artists, inviting them to participate. By December, in about two months, I already had over 100 images. Art is such a personal expression. Uh, I had no idea what I was going to get, right? So I started getting images that range from portraits of actual people who have been disappeared to abstract images. So it's a beautiful range that goes from, you know, painting, drawing, collage, photographs, all kinds of different things. And uh, they're very, very personal expressions of either solidarity, love, a concern, rage. The project has grown to over 350 artists right now, and they come from all over the world. I don't know if you noticed this one, it's a uh, handmade paper okay. and fabric. The idea mm -hmm. is to that? raise awareness not only about the 43, but about the social issues uh, around the world. So I have work that ranges from an artist who sent me an artwork about apartheid in the 70s in South Africa, all the way through uh, the United States, you know, violence against uh, communities of color, uh, feminicides all over Latin America and Asia as well. Artists have a special ability and a special sensibility to deal with these issues, sometimes in ways that are extremely beautiful. So you can have an image that is very, very shocking and very, very strong, but it's also extremely beautiful and delicate. This is a photo of, of a silkscreen print that I made. I wanted to use something that would break down during the process. And I knew that the constant abrasion of the squeegee going over the screen and the paper stencil, eventually it would erode. I just kept making prints until the paper stencil wore down and I couldn't make any more prints and then I attached them all together. When she told me she was doing this um, project to um, get information out there about the students that had disappeared, and I just felt it was such an important thing um, to shed light on that people should know more about it. It's just so meaningful to be able to lend work to something that gives more voice to someone who is oppressed or abused or um, not heard. We have had almost two dozen uh, public events on a range of issues and many of those issues actually are featured in this very powerful exhibit. We have uh, addressed issues of forced disappearance, torture, state impunity, racism, gender-based violence, and poverty and inequality. The center has a host of courses that actually directly engage on human rights challenges, from genocide to racism to uh, grave health problems to inequality in New York City. This exhibit uh, stimulates students and, and engages them, and it creates a sense of solidarity. The Tribute to the Disappeared show has also a community participation component. They're also invited to write a note to the families of the disappeared. So I have this wall of uh, community participation where people can come, write notes, and at the end of the exhibit I will send those notes to the families of the disappeared in Mexico. It's a beautiful way of having people that come into the show, they see the work, they know about the issues, they are moved, sometimes they are moved to tears, they are upset. They're, uh, you know, thinking of the families, just really wishing for the best, wishing them something 
wonderful uh, in such a horrible uh, situation. And it's great that they can actually write something for them, that specifically for them. And I you know, can send those messages to the families.